friends and staff. It's Jen Klein again. I'm here for week four where we're going to be making some origami holiday scarves. And we're going to have five-sided scarves. And we're going to make six-sided scarves. Now these are really nice. You can paint them. You can hang them on your walls. You can hang them on the tree. Make lovely ornaments for every kind of occasion. Fourth of July, Christmas. Lots of good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rectangle piece of paper and we're going to turn it into a square because we need square sheets for these stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my corner. I'm going to fold it all the way over to this edge. Fold it. Now, I don't need this rectangle at the bottom, so we're going to cut this off. Or in my case, I'm going to fold it, crease it, and just kind of tear it off. If you're not so sure of yourself with doing that, obviously, go ahead and get your scissors. And in this case, we're going to need scissors anyway to do these. So we're going to start with our six-sided star because we already have our triangle made. So now, since you have your triangle, you're going to take one corner and fold it over to the other corner, just like this. So you just made your triangle a little bit smaller. Now what you need to do is take these two edges and crisscross them over each other like this, keeping the point down here or over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it and I'm going to fold it into thirds, still keeping that point at the bottom. I'm going to fold that there. I'm going to take this side. I'm going to fold it over the whole thing. And there we have our weird shape. Kind of looks like an ice cream cone with a couple little points. So what you want to do is you want to take your scissors at this point and you're going to cut it at a pretty drastic angle. So I'm just going to take them. And I'm going to cut it just like this, straight across. You don't need this part anymore. That can just be thrown away, whatever you want to do with it. And then you can open this. Now the idea is, once you have it open, you want these edges to stick up, and you want these in-between edges to go back. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to start doing that. Pull that one up. That one's going to go back. This one's going to come up. That middle, part, that middle part is going to go back and this one's going to come up. So I got one side done and I need to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to fold that one back, fold these up and back, and up and back, up and back. So I'm going to pull it down. There I have my nice six-pointed star. Now for our five-pointed stars, we're going to, again, have a square sheet of paper and I had cut this one earlier except this time we're going to fold it into a rectangle so I'm going to take my solid white piece up uh, if you have colors on the back that's fine so you want to start with the colored side flat white side up fold it in half we're going to work with half of our paper basically so you're going to take one side and you're going to fold it down lift it up and take the other side fold it up Oops, let's see. a little bit straighter there. There we go. So now we've just made an X, and you want to find the center point of your X. You also want to make sure that the closed end of your paper is on one end. So like I have mine at the top, open end is at the bottom. So I'm going to find my center point. I'm going to take the top closed end, and I'm going to fold it all the way over to the center point, and I'm going to crease it. Now, it's not going to line up with anything. That's fine. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to fold it back like that. Now we're going to take this side and we're going to fold this whole thing just like this. And then we need to take this side and fold it back. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to fold it back along that center line. So now I have something that looks like this. What we need to do is cut it from somewhere over here at an angle to somewhere over here, past the point where you're going to hold the whole thing together. So I'm going to turn mine sideways, and I'm going to cut it just like that. Actually, I think I want to cut that a little bit straighter. So I'm just going to go and cut off a little bit more, and that's fine too. Again, don't need that. Here's where we get our star. Open it up. Look at that, and then we repeat the same thing that we did earlier with our six-pointed star where we big pieces, the long sides, fold those up, in between pieces get folded back, long sides get folded up, 
between pieces get folded back. You can do that. And there you go. So we've got our six pointed scarf and our five pointed scarf. No, wait, there we go. There's our six pointed scarf, our five pointed scarf. So thanks for stopping. I'll be doing week five next week, which is origami Christmas trees or 3D. They're really cool. Make sure you come back and see it. Thanks for joining us. Bye.